Science Lesson 25. Welcome everybody. We're happy to see you again. Can everyone say hello? Hello. Hello. Welcome back. Let's get started with meditation. Very good. Our meditation. Have a seat and show me two fingers. Good. We'll use them to find our heart center. Excellent. Our other hands open in our laps or on our desk. Deep breath in, out. Close your eyes. <coughs> Try and relax your body, clear your mind. Allow your energy to focus at your heart center. Once you can feel it there at your center, relax your other hand. Hang on to that feeling at your heart center. Notice your breath as it travels in and out. Breathe at your own pace, just notice it. calming our body and our mind. Focused at our heart center. Breathing in and out. We are calm and relaxed. Focused at our center, we are calm and relaxed in our mind and in our body. Okay, nice job everyone. We'll slowly open our eyes, come out of meditation together, taking three deep breaths. Very good. One. Two, and three. Nice job. Up on your feet, and we'll do the rest of our warm-up together. Show me. Yep, stretch up. Teacher Shelby's shirt makes it hard. Stretch up. Towards the sky. Stretch. Yeah, we can interlace our fingers and lean. 
Very good. Whatever feels good. And then? Good. Shake, shake. Shake it out. Or wiggle. Very good. Then what? Yeah, we stretch down and touch our toes. Reach for your toes or the ground. Reach. And then? Very good. Shake, shake. Shake it out. And then what? Spin. Very good. We spin around how many times? Three. Three times. That's right. But wait. Good. One, I want you to spin this way and wiggle as fast as you can. <gasps> Very good. Wiggle really fast. Good. Two, I want you to spin back this way and wiggle as slow as you can. Very good. Yeah, very good. Slow motion. Good. And three. I want you to spin and jump. Nice work. So what's the last thing we do together? Jump. Jump up and down. Very good. How many times? Three times. Three times. Oh, wait. Wait. First, I want you to jump as high as you can and backwards. Good, as high as you can and backwards. Two, I want you to jump as high as you can on one foot. Good, on one foot. And three, I want you to jump and spin. Very good, you guys are getting very good at that. Have a seat and we will get started. Today, in science, we're gonna be talking about plants again. Plants. Yeah, let's review that word. Plants. 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 Okay. Who remembers an example of a plant? Is a tree a plant? Yes. Yes. Flower. Flower is a plant. Grass, very good. What about a dog? Is a dog a plant? No. No. What about Teacher Shelby? Teacher no. Shelby a plant? No. No, right? Plants, animals, people. Plants, are they living or non-living? Living. That's right, they're living things. All right, so this is the worksheet we completed together last time. This is left out, she did a really nice job. I'm gonna use it to go over the plant parts together. All right, we're just gonna look at the worksheet. All right, so starting, starting at the bottom. Ha, 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 yes, bottom. All right, who remembers the word for these? Roots. I heard it. Roots. 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 Good, roots. And who remembers the word for this? Very good, the stem, all right? Stem. Good. And who remembers the word for leaf. these? Leaf. Very good. Leaf. 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 Good. One leaf. Two leaves. Two leaves. Good. Leaves. All right. Who remembers what we call these? Fruit. Very good. Yes. They are strawberries but the part of the plant is fruit. 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 And then finally? Flower. Flower. Very good. Flowers. Flower. Flowers. One flower. One flower. Two, Two flowers. flowers. Two flowers. Good, good. So we have flowers. Flowers. Fruit. Fruit. Leaves. Leaves, stem, stem, and roots, roots, roots. Good. All right. So we're gonna do our rhyme together. That's what we're gonna do next. So everybody, up on your feet. Yeah, exactly. So if you remember last time, we learned a rhyme that started the roots, the roots, the roots are in the ground. Ready? The roots, the roots, the roots are in the ground. The stem, the stem, the stem stands tall. The leaves, the leaves, the leaves are all around. The flower, the flower, easy to be found. How <laughs> good. You guys are great plants. 
Nice work. All right, back to your desks, please. Have a seat. Okay. The last thing I want to remind you guys of is we talked about the job or the function of each part of the plant. Okay. So we're going to go over those. If we remember the roots, roots, they suck up water. Yeah. So the plant, it's a living thing, so it needs water. It has to have water. So the roots suck up the water and any minerals from the soil. All right? Good. That's their job. And then the stem, the stem helps carry the water, right? So the water goes up the stem, right? Up the stem to the leaves, up the stem to the flower, right? So everyone can... Get a drink. Yeah, that's right. All right, and now what about, what are these called? Leaves. Leaves, right. Remember, they absorb the? Sun. Yes, the sun, very good. The leaves, the sun. Give me more, give me more. It's one of the ways the plant makes food. All right, yeah, the flower and the fruit, right? They're, the, they're beautiful, right? They use their color, bright color. Say, look at me, look at me. And it attracts the bzzz, bees and butterflies. Good. It's the way that the plants reproduce. Reproduce. Remember, that's to make more. Kind of, it's like having babies. Make more, reproduce. The flower and the fruit helps the plant do that. All right, so roots, suck up the water. Stem, do, 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 do. helps the water move. Water moves. Water moving up. The leaves, give me more. Give me more of what? The, the sun, very good, absorbs the sun. And then the flower and the fruit, look at me. So pretty, beautiful. Yeah, Zzz, attracts the animals that pollinate. Very good, nice. All right, so today we're still gonna be talking about plants and parts of plants. Uh, first, what we're gonna do is learn some of the parts. So today we're still gonna be talking about plants and the parts of plants, but we're gonna learn what parts we can eat. Yeah, we can eat all the parts, actually. So let's look at some examples with a PowerPoint. So pay attention to the TV. So as I mentioned, we're gonna talk about the parts of a plant. I heard someone say mango tree, right? A plant. Who remembers the name of this flower? Rose. Ah, boom, very good. Rose. 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 Good. All right, so the parts of the plant that we just went over, Starting at the bottom, what are those called? Roots. 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 Suck up the water. Stem. Very good. Stem. Stem. Water goes up, 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 up the stem. Mm -hmm. And then, what about this? Yeah. Fruit. The fruit. Good. Fruit. Good. One leaf. One leaf. Two leaves. Two leaves. Very good. And finally? Flower. Flower. Good. The flower. Excellent. Parts of a plant. All right. So now, <clears throat> now we're going to talk about how they go from plants, plants in the soil, to what we eat. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to talk about all the parts of plant that we can eat. Some specific examples. All right, what are these? Bottom. Bottom. <laughs> it is the bottom of the plant. Roots. 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 Can we eat roots? Yeah. Yeah, we can, actually. 
Yeah, we, we can cook and eat roots, exactly. There's many roots, but let's look at some examples. Who remembers what this is? Carrot. 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 A carrot is a root. Eat it. Yeah, it's a root, and we eat it. Who likes carrots? Anybody? I like carrots a lot. Yeah. No, pun you don't. And rabbits like carrots too, that's right. All right. Mm -hmm. Carrot is a root of a plant. It grows in the soil, and we eat it. What about this one? It kind of looks like a mango. No. There's not a lot of them around here. Nice. This is a potato. 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 Is that a funny word? This is how we make french fries. Yeah, we make french fries out of this. Potato. And chips. Potato. Yes. Parang. Yes. Also a root. It grows in the ground, right? And we eat it. It's very good. Mm. You don't like potatoes? Yeah. I like potatoes. If you like french fries, you like potatoes. Yeah. All right. This one. We've seen this once before. This is called an onion. Onion. Good. An onion is also a root. It grows in the soil and we eat it. Yeah. Onion. Yeah, they're kind of, I bet you guys don't like, who like, does anyone like onions? Really? Good. Me too. They're kind of spicy, right? And they make your eyes water, right? They burn your eyes. You like them? Yeah, they make you cry. <laughs> I like them though. All right, so these are roots that we can eat. Pretty cool, huh? Very good. Next part of the plant is stem. Can we eat the stem? Yeah. Sometimes we can. Sometimes we can. I don't. I don't think I would pick a flower and eat the stem. But that's a great example. Oh, bamboo is a great example. So here's another example. <clears throat> that does kind of look like bamboo. All right, we'll go with it. Bamboo, right? Bamboo. bamboo is the stem, and we eat it. It's good. Who likes bamboo? Me too. Especially sour bamboo. Really good. All right, and then so over here, this is something called celery. 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 It's good. We can eat it. I like it. I put peanut butter on it. It's good. Salary. Yeah. yeah. So these are examples. So these are examples of the stem of a plant that we can eat. What about here? Good. The next part of the plant is leaves. What do you guys think? Can we eat leaves? Yes. Yeah, good guess. Yes. Here's an example. Was this recognizing? Do you recognize this? Yeah. So this can be lettuce, 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 lettuce. or cabbage. 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 It is the leaves of a plant that we eat. Does anybody like cabbage or lettuce? Yeah, a lot of cabbage here. Very good. Yum. In soup, right? Mm -hmm. Very good. There's also leaves, <clears throat> also leaves called spinach. Spinach. It's a funny word. But yeah, it's leaves we can eat and a salad. You know? Salad. Good. Anybody like salad? Yeah. It's good. <laughs> Liars. All right. So these are examples of leaves of the plant that we eat. All right.
So what's left? Flower. Yeah. Flower or fruit? Flower or fruit part of the plant? Strawberry. Strawberry. Strawberry is the fruit of a plant. That's the part, a part that we eat. Who likes strawberry? <laughs> yeah. A little sour. Is there anybody who doesn't like strawberry? Hmm? Does anybody not like strawberry? No. Ooh. I don't know if you guys know this one. Mm -hmm. Ready? Close. So this picture is called broccoli. 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 Good. And broccoli, this part, is actually the flower of the plant. Yeah. See how this is the stem, right? And the leaves. The part that we eat is the flower. Yeah, it's actually the flower. Mm-hmm. We eat the flower, which is cool. Does anybody like broccoli? I like it. I'm so impressed with you guys. Good for you. I like broccoli. Okay. What about this? Ah, so easy. Mango is the fruit of a plant. Who doesn't like? I mean, who likes mango? Everybody. Yeah. I like mango. Mm. What about this? All right. Sounds like you know it. So in English, the word is corn. 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 This is corn. Corn. And corn is actually the flower of the plant that the corn grows on, right? The corn that we eat, right, is the flower. It's actually the flower. It's the seeds, but it's also the flower. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Exactly. Who likes corn? I like corn. Yeah. I like corn. corn is very good. Show me how you eat corn. <laughs> you like yellow corn? Me too. I like corn from yellow. Okay. That's fantastic. Okay, back here. One more. Easy. Apple. Apple is the fruit of the plant. Apple is the fruit. Okay? Helps the plant reproduce. Attracts the bees and the insects too. All right. Who likes apples? No. You don't? Interesting. I like apples. You do? So, Pak Bung, you would say, I don't like apples. No, I don't like apple. There you go. I don't like apple. All right. You don't like mango? I like I like red apple. I don't like green apple. It's too sour. Too sour. All right. Good. All right. So I hope you all are paying attention because we're gonna play a quick game. Yay! Good. Reviewing the parts of the plant that we get to eat. All right, so we're gonna have, we're gonna use our whiteboard. Yeah. So using the flashcards we printed and our whiteboard, you guys are gonna play this in your room as well. We're gonna sort the parts of the plant that we eat into the correct categories. So here we're gonna have, pretend like this is the soil level. Very good. So these are going to be the roots. The roots. Roots. All right. So next is. Very good. Whoa. Stem. Pat, I'm not going to ask you again. Stem. Very good. Oh, 
things? Leaves. And finally? Flower and fruit. So we have roots, roots, stem, stem, leaves, leaves, Good. flower, fruit. Good. They're going to share the same category. Okay. So for example, Good. It's of a salad. And I think, hmm, are, are these vegetables that we eat, are they roots? No. Hmm. Are they a flower? No. Are they leaves? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. So I'm going to put it under leaves. No. Yeah. All right. Good. So now we're going to take turns sorting the remainder of the flashcards by calling on volunteer students. So go through the flashcards in your own room and then join us back here when you are finished. Yeah. And what part? What part? Show me. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Very good. No. Flower or fruit? To fruit. No. Very good. Very good. Very good. So now we've got strawberry under fruit and bamboo under stem. Very good. Thank you. Show me. Here's some tape, too. Mm. Got it? This was lettuce or cabbage is what we call it. Very good. It is. It's leaves. Leaves. So look here. It was cabbage or lettuce, right? And it's leaves. Leaves. All right, pom pom. Was it leaves or a stem or a flower or roots? Is that right? No. Mm -mm. You know it. Don't question yourself. There you go. Very good. Corn, very good. Show me, Lego. Is corn a root or a stem or leaves or a flower? This is a tricky one. Okay, good. So let's go over this one one more time. The word is corn. 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 Now look at this. The leaves. The leaves. Is a mango a leaf? No. Okay. What about the fruit or the flower? Yeah. Ah. Good. She knows. It's not stem, by the way. That's right. Just stick it. <laughs> Very good. Who are, does anyone remember this word? Onion. 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 Good. Onion. <laughs> onion is a root. It grows in the soil. It's a root. And we eat it. Remember it's spicy? Right? Makes us cry. Yeah. Onion. It's a root. Yep. It's a tricky one. Broccoli. Show me. Broccoli. Happy to meet you. Broccoli. Broccoli. 
broccoli. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, you're not paying attention. <laughs> Thank you. All right, one more time. This is broccoli. 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 Good. And so broccoli here. Here's the stem. Here's the stem, right? But the part that we eat, this part, is the flower. This part is the flower of the plant that we eat. Broccoli. Okay? Welcome back, everyone. Thanks for playing the game with us. Hope you got all your flashcards sorted. The next thing we are going to do together is make our very own flower craft. It's going to be super fun. So, yeah. So what I'm going to do is first pass out our blank or blue sheets of paper. They're going to be our background. Uh, we're going to walk through some of the steps together. So just make sure you have your supplies ready and follow along. OK, so now that we have a sheet of paper, the first thing we're going to do is get out our crayons. Do you remember our crayons or our colored pencils? Yep. So I want us to use brown. The color brown. 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 If you've got color brown, use it. We're going to use it this way. No. This way. No. This way. Okay. So we've got our piece of paper, right? Here's your paper. This is your paper. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is take our brown and make a line like this, about one third of the way. This is gonna be our soil, right? With your brown, yep, just like that. Make a line across and color it in brown, because it's soil. Soil. Brown. Brown or black, you can even add a rock, if you wanna add a rock, right? Or a worm, that would be cute little worm because this is the soil so the first thing we do is draw the soil level on our worksheet yeah but not colored in brown that's perfect so you want the soil to be either brown or black color in our soil everybody Look, look how everyone else is doing it to you. Brown. Use your brown. No, you have, you have your brown. This was brown. Brown. Right? Draw a line and color it in. Draw a line and then color it in brown. There you go, Q. No brown, there's a brown right there. It's fine. You don't even have to draw a rock if you don't want to. Yeah, you don't have to if you don't want to. Just color in your soil. Cute. Mm -hmm. Very good. What part of the plant looks like this? Very good. What did I, what was it, pal? Roots. Next is going to be the roots that go into the soil. Nope. You all are going to use yarn to make your roots. Like this. Doop. Doop. All right? Like that. Mm -hmm. Look here. These are going to be your roots. It's okay. Yeah, so maybe make your black. We'll make it a little taller. Make this a little taller. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. You're welcome. Good, so here are your roots, Pon. 
your roots. Okay. Okay. Good. Here are your roots. You might need to make this a little taller, right? So make it come to like here. That no. doesn't work. But you see what I'm saying? More brown. So your roots are in the soil. Oh my. Perfect. Yeah, very good. Oh my god. Two. Color in your soil, please. Color in this first. And then we'll make your roots. And then we're going to glue down our roots with yarn. Just like that. Yeah, just like that. Mm -hmm. What is the problem? There we go. Like a root, right? Like roots. And then you can lay this on top of it. Like roots. Okay? It's probably just clogged. Don't worry your pretty little head. Here you go. So take off the film. <laughs> That's good. Good, good. All right, but so we want the brown to come up here. All right? Let me show you. Roots. What part of the plant do we need? Very good, the stem. Next, we need the stem. Cool, huh? Yeah, so you're gonna glue your stem to your roots, all right? Pay attention, don't glue it over here. Don't glue it here. Don't glue it here. Glue it coming out of your roots. All right, stem connects to roots. I'll help you, relax. Thank you. How do I always manage to lose one? Don't worry. Roots. And then this, the stem, gonna go like that. What, sweetheart, I don't understand what you're doing. Okay, look, see? This is closed. No work. Twist. Open. Good. Closed. No work. Open. Yes work. Okay. There you go. Add the soil. Very good. Pal, you're going to be okay. It's just glue. That you will draw with your crayons. All right? So you can use green, would be ideal. Green crayon to draw your own leaves. Mm -hmm. All right, so green crayon, draw your leaves. Draw your leaves. Very good, Pata. There you go. It's, it's okay, pal. Woo! Good. All right, so, right, glue. It's going to look like that. Okay? Do, do not glue it like this. I mean, I guess you could, but it looks cooler this way. All right? We're going to do it silver up. So, flower, flower, oh, you're very welcome, oh, flower, good, so you're going to glue your flower on your stem, don't glue your flower over here, don't glue your flower down here, glue your flower on your stem, it's good, good leaves, it's good, you just got to have to let it dry, look, We'll have to wait. It's okay though, my cow. I wouldn't sweat too much about it. Yeah, so cute. So, so cute. So cute. 
You gotta put more glue, baby. More. Very good. All right, I'll show you the last thing. All right, so now you've got your flower on. That way you can have little flower pieces. So cute! I feel like you don't want me to do this. Oh, look how cute that is! All right, good job, everyone. Hopefully your flowers came out something close to this. I know we had a good time getting them finished. We will use these again. So teachers, volunteers, we're gonna collect, put them up in the room. We'll use them in another lesson, so don't lose them. Good work today. That's gonna be the last of this lesson. Can everyone say goodbye? Goodbye. Goodbye. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.